What is up everybody? My name is Jay. Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, take a moment, subscribe to my channel so that way you can see and watch the next videos that are dropping. I do have a clear vision now of how I do want to do this YouTube channel that I have. Um, so subscribe and I hope you guys enjoy this video. In today's video, what we're going to do is I'm actually going to show you guys how I break down ponds. things that I do when I'm breaking down a pond guys is before I walk right up onto the water like I am already and I'm gonna let you know I've already fished this park um I go out a little bit or actually it's, as I'm walking up I stop a little bit farther out than normal where I first initially want to fish and I'll stop out further and I'll fish from there because I'm trying to sneak up on the fish that don't realize I'm here yet they're gonna be right here in the shallows and I don't know if y'all can hear the wind or not probably because you know GoPros are really good at picking up wind sometimes. Um, but what was I saying? Anyway, so what happens is those little fish are going to be right here. And with the wind blowing, the wind's blowing this way. So it's actually bringing them closer to me right now, too, because wherever the wind's blowing, tend to be the bait fish, then you go find the game fish. That's how that works. They feed on each other. So. so then the next thing that I do when I go to break down a pond, after I'm thrown up on it a couple times and I haven't thrown up, that didn't sound good, did it? <laughs> After I've thrown out a few times and didn't get anything, um, I then start looking for certain landmarks. Now the main landmarks I have at this pond are gonna be that right there, which is your drain, your dam, you know, on whichever, whatever kind of pond you're fishing at, one of those, those are some of the first structures I look for, a dam or a drain, something that are gonna attract the fish. Right there is probably one of the deepest points in this pond because they had to dig out a lot to put that there. So it's probably one of the deepest points um, another thing that I look for, guys, is some sort of, you see the trees right here? I don't even know if you could see this in this. There's shade and there's tree, trees hanging over over there. Um, those are one of those things that I look for as well. Some sort of hangover, shaded area. It's not hot enough yet for them to really be playing with those, uh, what you call it, with the shade lines. But they do. I mean, they still are going to play with those. So you want to, you know, at least go over where the structure is because that's where the wood is. Another thing while I walk around the pond, I really hope y'all can hear me because the last time I did this, I know the, the wind ended up take, picking up a lot and you couldn't hear me as well. Another thing that I look for a lot um, as I walk around the pond, I look in the water and I look for any like down structures like uh, trees that have fallen over, logs that are just massive and sitting there because bass love wood structure. So we're going to make a few more tosses and we're going to make our way around. I'm going to be working the dam in a minute or I'm sorry, the drain. And then I'm gonna be working some shaded areas and let's see if we can get something, huh?
Alright, let's go fish over by the dam. Or the drain. Whatever. water down here and these are some shallows but the wind's blowing right over here in this little cove area if y'all can I mean I'm sure y'all can see that so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go over there and I'm just gonna fish it for a little bit and just kind of make my way around this bank and see what happens so I got you guys um Another thing that you really want to know is sometimes guys it's going to take you a few times to really break down a pond. You just sometimes the biggest thing you can have is patience. I probably fished this pond a couple times before I actually caught a fish in it and it's because it's a highly pressured pond. So like there's not a whole lot, there's a lot of fish in here but they like to be finicky sometimes because they already know what they're about to bite. Well I guess not bite. <laughs> so. But, alright, I'm on this bank side here. We're going to start fishing. I guess I'm going to put y'all somewhere like right here. Hopefully y'all can see me okay. And I'm going to make my way back this way a little bit. I have to start thinking about something else too if this crawl don't start hitting. But this crawl's been hitting it for me lately. So, we'll see what happens. I just want to make sure I got y'all recording. Yeah. And like I was just saying a second ago, we have some lay down right here. There's a wood. That, I mean, this is irrelevant. They're not going to be on this one because it's so shallow. Not usually anyway, but there's some wood out there I know of that, that there's like logs out there that are just hanging out Where I'm at right now is this is one of my ponds that I know I've already broken it down so like with the time of the year that we're at with us being in you know the middle of spring I kind of already know where the fish are on this pond so like I'm getting a little antsy to want to get going to that spot but I'm trying to treat this pond like it's the first one of like if you're first walking up on the pond and how you actually break it down so I fished this little area now. I didn't get any bites. I, I know they're here somewhere. I've gotten a couple within the last week right out here in this specific spot. But <clears throat> I know a little further down that that's probably more likely where they're going to be. But we're going to make our way around here. And I'm going to uh, stop right here at some cover where I see some, some you know, sticks out of the ground. The tree laying over. I'll show you guys. Why not? So right over there, you see some, you know, uh... I can't think about like you know not tree stumps but like it used to be a dock or something you got a tree laying down you got some logs in the water right over there and we're gonna go right over there and fish right there for a few minutes so that'll be fun Ooh, I've actually in that spot specifically where we're going is where I caught my PB I threw it out and that was actually my best day of fishing so far too I almost caught uh, somewhere between like 15 or 20 pounds of fish all together it's a really good day and at this pond. Mm. 
and just to be clear my PB is 5.2 so there's at least five pound fish out in this pond it's a pond worth fishing in my opinion and it's not a small pond either which I think is really cool when you do small ponds you just tend to make them and go through them real quick and then you're just kind of like okay but this is a big enough pond that I keep coming back to it and I've fished it and I know it but I still come back to it further. Um, there's a log out that goes out far. And we just got some open water. I'm just going to work our way down. Well, it works. We got some shallow water. It goes out deep, comes shallow. Typical open water. Except there's a big old log right here. this bank. Yeah. Yeah. Check him out, guys. There's a little dirty guy. There we go. Yeah. That right there. That's how you break. I mean, that's how you catch a when you're breaking down a pond. Good looking fish. Oh yeah guys, he's not too bad. Little 2.12 pounder. No complaints. Yeah. All right guys, let's get this little two pounder back out there so he can become a little big old six or seven pounder. He got some good genes. Ah, oh, alright, here we go. There you go, guy. Always like it, gentle and slow. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta make sure this camera's on too sometimes. So, another word of advice for anybody, if you just caught a fish, where you were, throw again. Because bass are fish that tend to group together, and not to mention, Especially on a pond that tends to be like if the water's lower on that pond, which here it's a little bit um, So they tend to group together. So don't leave that spot. Try a few more minutes right there
can't even talk. That was a decent fight. Want a good tip? Relax. Have fun. I'm over here and I'm like, I don't even hear. I just see spirals right over there behind y'all. Y'all don't even see that, but just relax. Have some fun. Don't lose your earbuds. <laughs> I don't know. I, that's where I'm at right now. I caught a fish. I feel good. Monkey's always the hardest, I feel like. At least it's the most, the one you want to get the most. Put your headbuds in. Headbuds? Earbuds? Play your music. Relax. Yeah. All right. So, came all the way to the back of this pond here. This is like the sandbar area. It's pretty shallow back here. We'll see how long we spend. I know I've I've never actually gotten a fish back here. Maybe one, but I know some people who have. So, we'll give it a shot. See what happens. Alright guys, there it is. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on this video. And let me know what you guys want to see more of. Um, I just want to go over the tips again real quick. You know, before you get up on the water, be sure you throw a little bit before you get up to the bank. You want to try to get those fish that are actually right there on the shallows. They hear you really well. So if you walk right up on them, and they're going to see you anyway if the water's clear enough, you're going to spook them. But if you stop a little bit before, throw out, you got a good chance you might catch one of those fish right off the bat. Um, always look for your wood, your, your lay downs, your bush, uh, what you call it, your, your brush piles, your trees that are hanging over, those shadier areas. And the biggest thing too guys, just don't forget to have fun with it. Breaking down a pond isn't that difficult. It's not. It's just a matter of taking time and doing it. Sometimes you might need to come one, two, three, or four times just to really get the understanding of a pond, depending on how big it is. This one's a good sized pond. This, this pond could take you all day if you really want it to. It has taken me all day sometimes and I don't even get to walk around the whole thing. I only get half of it. But anyway guys, um, drop a comment. Let me know what you want to see more of. I hope you enjoyed it. You guys know how it goes, right? If we're out there fishing, if we're out there catching and we're having a good time, no complaints. <laughs>